Oh my god. This, this. Oh my god. And I need. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is lovely. Oh my god. Oh my god. All together, this is about. 800 bucks, so 800 bucks, 50% off, that's like $400. I'm going to have to suck like five dicks tonight, but it'd be so worth it. Oh my God, love you, Patricia Fields. I'm going to miss you. Welcome to the view. Oh, <laughs> okay. Welcome to the view. Happy 2016. Um, so we are... Uh, we're finally sober. <sighs> yes, finally sober. Um, and we're at Black Rose. And still looking for a cell phone. Oh my god, this cell phone drama. There was a, David and, well Ernie was in California and David had a New Year's party at the apartment. And um, because he, all of a sudden he was gone from the apartment, just gone. And uh, we texted him and he said that he had had a panic attack and he had to leave all of a sudden. And we looked at the, at the go. Uh, he said he had the phone. He, yeah, he said he had the phone. And we looked at the, what is it, the, the track me, the find my yeah, phone. Find my yeah, find my iPhone. And we were following it, going, leaving with him. And um, when he said he, he said he was coming, he didn't, couldn't explain why he had the phone. Um, but he said that he did take it and he's coming back with it. So we all breathed a sigh of relief and got back to the party. And um, turned off the... Uh, Go find me, thing. Right, right. You shouldn't have. Find my iPhone. Find my iPhone. Yeah, exactly. So, a few minutes later, when he didn't show up, we turned on the Find My iPhone again, and now he was even farther. So he had apparently turned back around and was going in another direction. So um, Jane insisted that we leave, and we did. And we got in, and we got in a car. El drove us to um, the address, 901 Wharton Street, which turned out to be some crack house. And um, oh my gosh! So we're in the lobby of this crack house, and. Um, I, the crack house had a lobby? A building, an apartment building, you know. And yes, it was the concierge. <laughs> and, um, and there are all kinds of comings and goings and dealings going on in the lobby. And I don't know what possessed me, <laughs> but I'm screaming, I'm in the middle, I was, Jane was crying, I'm standing in the middle of the lobby, and I'm like, I'm screaming, I'm saying, all right, we know that there is, somebody here has a cell phone that was traded for drugs, and whoever has it in whoever's apartment, we've called 911 and we've got the apartment surrounded. We've got people in front of the building and behind the building, and they're coming up, they're going up the elevator, and we've got the whole building surrounded, there's no way you're going to get out of here with that cell phone, and when the police come, they're going to go in every single apartment, and they're going to break down doors looking for this phone. And how that work for you? Um, <laughs> uh, not so well. Um, I have we have some um, uh, some funny footage though um, <laughs> of us arriving at the uh, crack house. So um, so you know Jane was obviously very upset. It has you know all of her. I don't know. Well, I'm really was. upset too. It's like how does somebody come to my house and, uh, and steal something well, no, from no, no, somebody? We said to him, I mean, could I, not have been nicer to the person. I mean, I mean, how does that happen? Like, why do people think they can steal from us and I, it's, it's okay? Just, I mean, it's just unfathomable. And also, as far as I know, nobody can use that phone because it's uh, it's got you know a, a, there's a code. You know, the four-digit code. You can't you can't get into it. So I mean, I, I, even if you, I hear even if you you know use some kind of Jerry rig, ha ha, no pun intended, uh, method to get inside the phone that it won't work. So I mean, do you know any different? No, I guess. They're selling it for parts? I don't know. I, I don't I mean, know. I don't screen, know. Co screens cost $75. I mean, I hear people break them sometimes. I don't know. Um, but um, poor Jane is without a phone. She she just went home. She came over and she spent the night. She was upset. Shady, shady, shady. Um, in order to uh, to um, cheer her up, we watched Imitation of Life. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a <laughs> cheerful movie. <laughs> With a Turner and, um, and um, Saturday. So, yeah. nice We'll be right back. Happy New Year. And now a word from our sponsor. The party monster. Found you, the party monster. Welcome back to the pew. Welcome back to the pew. And some bitch named Tracy Whitcomb wants to know how some beautiful couple named Ernie. Now, who who can she be talking about? She says she wants to know how the beautiful couple Ernie and David. Who who's that? Ernie and David who? Which the only Ernie and David I know are you and David. She no beauty the be there. The beautiful couple. Who, <laughs> no who beauty there. About? How did you guys meet? All right. How did you meet? What happened? Tell us the sordid, de sordid story. It's not that sordid. I met. Oh him. yeah. I met that... him at the gay bar. Oh. G bar on 19th oh. Street. Not and sorted. I, invited him to I met him at a gay club. Not sorted. Okay. 
Yes, you know, people used to meet in bars, not on apps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I invited him to go to the beach with me. Mm, oh yeah, the beach. Yeah. Is that a euphemism? That, that's what I was calling it back then. Sex on the beach. And there so, was no sex, we went to Orchard Beach actually. No, there will be no sex. There'll be no sex at Orchard Beach unless you want to get an STD. <laughs> there were no STDs exchanged. So, so, so what? So you went to the beach and it was love at first sight? Um, uh, not really, but uh... Have, no, the did, rest is history! Did it ever turn into love at first sight? Uh, <laughs> yes. It turned into love. And then? And... Stayed there? And bald we go. See you next time! Okay, and here's from, from the forthcoming Ernie Lamb and Michael Halley. See you next time.